Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a review on this guy here. This is a Tamiya scale model kit. Um, yeah, this might be my first Tamiya kit. Um, I mean, I did build Mini Yonku, those four small, uh, like a motorized car that Tamiya releases for little kids back when I used to live in Japan. Um, but uh, in terms of actually a uh, normal scale model kit, this might be my first Tamiya kit. And uh, in fact, the funny thing is, this is in even though it's released by Tamiya in Japan, this kit is actually um, not originally from Tamiya. It's from uh, one of the like the mold is from another uh, plastic model kit company. I think Tamiya bought it, and I think maybe they retool something, maybe, and then they just repackage it and sell it in Japan. Um, anywho. So, but nonetheless, still the Tamiya kit. So this is the USAF Bell X1 Mach Buster. This is the first plane to beat the, the sound wave, uh, sorry, the speed of sound, basically. And it was a big deal. I mean, before that, they couldn't beat it. So, um, and uh, so, I mean, a lot of people actually died in this project when I first started. In fact, this, this project, uh, I think, started before the World War II and it was canned because of all these people. I guess the test pilot are dying or something, but anywho, so then they relaunched it and uh, finally did a successful uh, flight. So, um, the kit is kind of nice that you can get, you know, you can just complete it and make it look like this, or it also comes with the clear parts for the body, so you can actually uh, show off the internal detail like that which I'll show you in a moment once I crack open the box and here's the other side of the box yeah looking nice it's here some color guide uh, just freeze frame to read it yep these are all the colors that you would be needed if you want to make it look like pro okay so um, let's crack open the box I'm just gonna put the camera down for a moment because I actually wanna show you the really fine detail that are uh, molded in this kit so first up you get a nice uh, base stand okay that's a good bonus I guess and here's the main uh, you know body here and uh, the, sh the mold is very very nice uh, I'm pretty sure Tamiya retooled this because the, the mold looks really nice to me and uh, here's the oops dropped my knife almost on my leg uh, here's the clear parts that I was talking about so you can either use this or this depending on your liking I'm still deciding what to do I might just go with the normal one um, yeah, because I don't think I have the skill to make the internal, you know, uh, like engine and internal work looks uh, anything better. But anywho, I don't know. We'll see. Here's the ball. Uh, I'm guessing it's just to give it a weight. So just, uh, you know, just a metal, you know, weight. That's about it. And here's the one that I wanted to show you. Like, it, it looks awesome. Um, put something on the background so it's easier to see. Yeah, just look at that fine detail. That's... I mean, even at, at this scale, this is insane. Um, that just shows Tamiya quality right there. Yeah, just look at this engine detail, for example. Like, here's the engine, and... This is, I mean, this is really, really tiny and... Really fine detail and uh, so fragile, too. I almost broke this thing when I took it uh, uh, take it out of the uh, back here and um, yeah I just can't wait to uh, build it I hope I don't break anything because again this is my first scale model kit um, not first I mean uh, Tamiya scale model kit I did build a ship before but you know it's probably more uh, harder on the airplane kit yeah I don't know why my camera decided not to work today of course as usual so yeah very nice kit and well, what else do you get let's see you get the the decal sheet printed in Japan so that's pretty cool the, the water slide decal and 
you get an instruction manual and some warning stuff. And let's look at the instruction uh, booklet here. Uh, I think it's pretty cool because it, uh, you know, unlike Gundam that I'm used to making, this is not a fictional object, this is a real uh, machine that exists. So it's a piece of history. So there's a lot of background information, um, pretty fun to read. It's in Japanese, but don't worry, they also have it in English. Let's uh, open it up here. Yep, so the main story is in Japanese, but you can also read the English. And I'm not sure what this language is, maybe German? Yeah, it looks like there's two other languages, I'm not sure what they are, but anywho. Here's some basic information how to make this kit, some tools that you will be needed. Um, yeah. Overall, very nice uh, design and very nice, easy to follow instruction booklet from what I can see. Obviously, it looks way more complicated than building a Gundam. Oh, that's nice line art for the engine right there. Wow. That looks really nice. Hmm. Yeah, can't wait to make this one. And then, you know, you just apply the decal and stuff like that. Uh, so, says this, you can make it, this is the number one, like, Ichigo key, so, uh, plain number one. I guess there's a different version of this, a revision of this, uh, this plane, maybe. Yeah, I need to read into it. So, oh yeah, there you go. So, X1 was released, and there's a number one, number two, and number three. So, basically... Uh, you can choose, I think, yeah, it comes with a different decal, so you can make this guy into plane number one, number two, or three, like a test model. Alright, so let me show you what it looks like when it's completed. Alright, so here's what the completed kit look like. Yeah, let me give you a quick 360 view. I want to talk about a lot about this one. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, as you can see, uh, I went with the uh, X1. Um, well, basically, you know, like during the 1940s, right, uh, the engineers were hitting this uh, sound barrier. Um, so basically, they needed to go transonic, um, you know, flight. And basically, with the, you know, Air Force, uh, United uh, States Air Force, and the Bell. Um, the laboratory uh, decided to produce three kit X1, X2, X3. Um, you can actually, the kit comes with the, all three different decals and parts um, that you can swap out and you can make it into whatever one you like. Um, I decided to go with the X1 because this is the first one that actually beat the sound, the uh, speed of sound. So the X1 came molded in all, I mean, not molded in color in all orange. The X2 was the orange with the white. Um, accent and then the X3 was I think it was all glossy white um, but I like this color scheme um, so I just, that's what I did yeah I'll get into the coloring in a moment basically I think it was October 10 1947 when this guy decided to uh, go to Mach uh, 1.06 which is the first time ever in the human history so that was a big deal in fact, if you notice the shape, it's actually a shape of a 50 caliber bullet. It's in fact, it's an exact shape of a 50 caliber bullet. Uh, I guess at the time they found that uh, that's the good shape, I guess. Probably aerodynamics or something like that. Um, yeah, when with the uh, thing testers, no. Uh, uh, one of those uh, Rust-Oleum uh, spray paint used the orange, uh, glossy orange, of course, because of the decal you always want to use gloss uh, paint or if you don't have one then paint it and then top coat it with the gloss and then put the decal on and then flat coat it or whatever coat you want yeah so let me stop it right here because I want to show you the engine so that engine right there uh, used uh, like a um, like an alcohol slash water based uh, fuel which was oxidized by liquid oxygen which was pumped through, uh, I believe, a nitrogen, which is uh, pretty cool. And um, yeah, in total, 
this uh, rocket engine right here can push up to 6,000 pounds of thrust, thrust, uh, which is a pretty big deal at the time, I guess. Yeah, uh, the decals uh, go on pretty good, um, and um, these here they're actually gunmetal color, uh, Tamiya gunmetal, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and then for the windshield, I used Gundam marker just to paint it off. Um, yeah, pretty simple job. I'm gonna show you the base that I did. Let me pick it up here. Um, this base comes molded in all white, so I basically had to spray paint it uh, gray, just to match, I guess. And then also, that's just a decal that I put on. And the nameplate that you see on the base of the base, I should say, is just a runner tag that I took and sent it down and applied nice decal that came on the decal sheet, just the name of the unit. Um, yeah, so if you're wondering where I got that, you get some extra parts. In fact, you almost get a two kit in this box uh, because you get you can actually turn this guy, the fuselage, into a clear piece. So you get a clear piece fuselage. Um, unfortunately, you don't get an extra wing, so but everything else you pretty much get double. So you could technically make two of these if you can scratch build um, the wings uh, from one kit. So that's pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. I'm a bumped into my camera, but yeah. Yeah, so overall, I guess uh, pretty much a bit, uh, nothing bad to say about it. For an older uh, kit, in fact, this, like I said, this is not even a Tamiya kit. This is more, uh, I think they retooled someone else's uh, mold, bought them, and just re released them pretty much. So, but still, I think it's still pretty good. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think on the comment below. Make sure to leave a comment and. I'm just gonna stop it right here so I definitely give it a thumbs up so thank you for watching and see you on the next video